Hey everyone, it's me, Dark Lord. I'm back from an amazing couple of months of traveling. I saw some amazing sights, did some soul searching, haunted a group of friends who watched a cursed video, and now I'm here today reviewing Huion's Canvas GT156 HD V2. Yes, another pen display that only costs a third of the price of a Wacom Cintiq Pro 16. So how is it? Keep watching to find out. First, I'd like to point out that Huion did not sponsor this video, nor did they provide a product for me to review. I purchased this thing with the money I earned from Harvesting Souls. So this is the Huion Canvas GT156 HD V2, Huion's latest 15.6 inch pen display. In the box, you get all the connection cables you need, an installation disc, not one but two styluses, a cable to charge them, a pen case, eight nibs, a nib remover, a cloth to clean your screen, a drawing glove, a thank you card, a stand, and of course you get the Huion Canvas GT156 HD V2. Yes, I have a lot of fun saying the name of this thing. The device itself feels really well built and gives off that luxury vibe. It sports 14 buttons, plus a slider that you can set to zoom, change brush size, scroll, and so on. On the side is a power button, a mini HDMI port, and a micro SD slot? Yeah, you heard right. This thing can take micro SD cards, which is kind of weird, but cool. The screen is good, not great. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution and also has a 72% NTSC color gamut. So despite what Huion claims on their site, the colors are not gorgeous and tend to run a little cool. But unlike in the movie, In the Mouth of Madness, the blue tint that you see isn't bad. And in fact, your eyes adjust to it till it just looks perfectly fine. One thing that is a little odd with the screen is that if you draw a line the light gray looks blue. That's actually something your eyes won't get used to. But on the bright side, the screen has a textured surface, so it's a joy to draw with if you're into textured surfaces. The pen is pretty great. It's a bit longer than other styluses, so you sometimes feel like an important person of years past when using it. Also, you get 8,192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity. Also, I'd like to note that I've used Wacom for years, and in my opinion, the drawing experience with this thing is quite similar to drawing with a Wacom. One thing I must note, not with the pen itself, but with the pen case that it comes with, the pen nibs must not fit properly in inside the, uh, I guess the shaped foam inside the case. Because whenever I open the case, four out of the eight nibs spill out every single time. As expected, it's easy to use and the software does everything you want it to. You can customize your buttons, change pen sensitivity, and adjust it to you being a lefty or righty in a matter of moments. Now, I've been working with this thing for the past two months and I can tell you that this thing feels really nice. As you can see from the line wobble tests, there really isn't any wobble at all. One thing that is a little odd is that for some reason when I'm selecting something near the edge of the screen, the cursor just jumps to the very edge. It's not a huge deal, you just lift the pen up and put it back on the screen and it fixes. Also, the pen activates pretty easily so you don't need to push hard to draw a line. <laughs> I'm sure all of you think I just drew a dick right here, but actually, I just drew a hot dog. So the device comes with a stand, and is it as classy as Hugh Yon's website claims it is? Eh, sure, I guess. It's a nice stand, not perfect, but then again, no stand is. Actually, the stand reminds me of the ones Wacom has. There's a limited amount of angles that it can be tilted, but they're all the angles you would ever really need in most scenarios. <laughs> So, if you want a well-built 15.6 inch pen display with wobble-free lines, a comfortable pen, and keep it under $500, then this is definitely a pen display for you. But keep in mind that the screen isn't great, but the screen certainly isn't a deal breaker, as is the weird thing the cursor does when you're trying to select things at the edge of the screen. In fact, drawing on this thing feels very much like drawing on a Wacom. 
It's a really well-made pen display. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you want me to haunt your house at 3am, please hit the subscribe button. Goodbye for now. See you in your nightmares.